Hello everyone! I am back today with another process video. Today's is going to be a little different because as you can see I'm working with pocket pages. I had done a previous video where I had done a stash challenge for part of a different layout. This is one side of that. So I'm actually working with some photos that come before this layout. So here are my photos that I'm working with. So you may notice some of these are the same from my stash challenge video because I wasn't able to fit them all in. So this layout is previous to the one I did before. It's going to go partially on this page and then the facing page on the left. So photos. Not sure I'll be able to get these all in on this one either, but I'm going to try. And then I picked out a couple of pocket cards. I thought this green goes well with the pictures. I like this one that says local fave because the pictures are from the Botanical Garden in Glasgow, Scotland, and that is a local fave for a lot of people there. It sees a lot of tourists, of course, but the locals also hang out there. And then this particular card, have to be honest, not very fond of it. <laughs> I like part of it. I don't know that I would really use all this, so what I think I'm going to do is actually use it horizontally and use one of the photos to cover up this part so that all you'll see is on our trip because um, it was my daughter and I together so the hour part will work and then if I could cover up this I think I'd be happy so I'm gonna give that a whirl and I will come back in a minute with all my photos cropped and ready to go all right so I think this is the placement that I'm gonna go with of the photos I'm not totally sold on having the journal card up here plus another sort of extra card in slots that are both on the top so I may mess with it but but we'll see I kind of like how the green balances out with the um, reddish color however the tiki guy did not make it so may have to save him for the next round I do have another set of photos that I could maybe use it with I'm not sure um, so for now I'm going to set him aside now I'm going to work on the individual photos and cards to stamp on them add some labels maybe make them a little bit more fun and interesting so I will work on that and I'll be back so I've decided that I want to bring in some yellow here there's a lot of green and a lot of red and I think that that yellow sorry I'm gonna move this so we don't have so much glare there on the photo I think that yellow bringing in some of that would be helpful so I'm gonna use one of these label stickers these are from Pretty Little Studio. It's the Let's Go line. So that lets you know how they look and where you can buy them. And then I'm thinking maybe this little yellow heart. This is a chipboard set from Gossamer Blue. And I'm so sad that they're, they're shutting their business. They just announced it a couple of days ago. So I'm sad because um, I love their products. So I am going to use this heart. I'm not sure where, but I will. So the label at least. I want to stamp on it and I'm going with a little stamp I'm not sure if you can see that very well oops wrong way it says here and there it's a Kelly Perky set that I'm using uh, and I'm just gonna do it in stays on these labels are a little bit slick on the surface so I don't trust my regular black ink I want that stays on so I'm gonna use that top one and my plan is that once I put it on I think it's gonna go on this card once I put it on there I'm gonna cut part of it off but I want to do the stamping first. So I'm going to go about like this, kind of center it more to the left. Ooh, it didn't quite all come out. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, darn it. I wrecked that one. Boo. See, not quite, not quite perfect. So Guess what? Mistakes happen. We're not going to use that one. Alright, we're going to try it again on this other yellow one. Make sure my stamp is really well inked here. And then I'm actually going to put it on a very flat surface, no photos underneath, and see if that will help. Cross your fingers. <gasps> Yay, it worked. So there we go. Sorry about being off camera there, but I want to make sure I got it right. So that one looks much better. We're going to go with that one. 
So as I clean off my stamp here and close up my ink so I don't get that on anything, that should be dry already. So I'm going to peel that off. And then I think I'm going to go like that. So my camera focus. Hello. Why is it not focusing? Very strange. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put it on the corner of this card. I just attached it. And then I'm simply going to, actually I was going to cut it, but let's see how it looks if I just, a little bit over, I like it, it works. All right, so there, see now it's focusing, hello. Um, there, I'm going to go with that. Now, since I have some black elements having just stamped on there and there are some darker colors in the background here, I want to bring in more of that just to balance it out a little bit. So I'm actually just going to take, uh, this is a Zig Millennium pen. This is the 01, so it's quite fine. Uh, I'm just going to take that and just do a little around the edge to bring in the black. Let's start over here. I don't worry that the lines are perfect. Actually, I prefer if they're not. I like a little visual interest. So if they're not perfectly straight and they're a little bumpy, that's okay. So there, I think it just adds a nice little touch that will help bring in a little bit of that black. All right, so we're making progress here. What to do next? So off camera, I, I did a couple of other things. Um, sorry about the glare there. Um, I decided to stamp down here, live colorfully, and this is from this set here from Studio 29 Designs. Again, sadly, they are no longer in business. Um, she did close her shop, but I loved these hashtag stamps. I did want to use that one because I think this layout is full of color, so it's very well suited to that. And then you may notice I also took my Zig pen again and I did a little bit more line drawing here just to bring out that black again. Um, so I have some here along uh, the edge. I had already done this one and I just added that line. And then I also wanted to show, this is the book, at least at this moment that I'm intending to use the binder. This is a six by eight binder and it is from Echo Park. So you can see that right there in the back. Um, I actually picked this up at a Tuesday morning for I believe $5.99. I mean, look how cute it is. I love these and I'm really into the six by eight size. So that's, sorry, that's part of the other layout that goes with what's on the other side here. Um, I'm really in love with these, so if you like the look of this, check out Echo Park. Alright, so I decided that the cards needed some inking along the edge just to give them some more definition because the white was very white and I love to ink everything, so you know, why not? So you can kind of see, and um, it's a gray color, you can kind of see it around the outside of all of these. and. Where did I put my ink? Here it is, so I can show you. This is the one I used. Sahara Sand from Stampin' Up. Um, old, had it forever, love it. So normally I do my journaling off camera, but I am gonna do one little part here. This says location, date, and then there are some options at the bottom. Uh, I am gonna do some basics. I'll fill in this part later, because I'm not sure exactly what I wanna say, um, but I can do this part. So this was Glasgow. And I know it was April 3rd of this year. And then down here, the options are hidden gem, hotspot, go to place. I'm actually going to go with hidden gem. It's not that people don't know about it. The locals go there a lot and tourists find it, but it isn't the easiest to get there. Um, we were doing the hop on hop off bus in Glasgow and the nearest stop, we still had to walk like five blocks to find it. Um, so it wasn't easy necessarily to get there. So it was a little bit hidden, um, but totally worth it. So as I've been looking at these, I have yellow here, 
yellow here and that's kind of it. It was bothering me that I don't have a visual triangle. So what I think I'm going to do is there's this little sign here for what this plant is, I think. I'm going to take this little yellow acrylic heart and sadly I can't remember where I got that. Um, but I think I'm just going to attach it right there and that takes care of two problems. I get a little bit more of the yellow and it covers up that sign. Not that the sign would be bad, but if I can work some yellow in there, why not? All right, so here we go. We're going to close that. I did put a little bit too much glue on it, but it dries quickly. So I had already put that one in the pocket. So we'll do this one while we're waiting for that little heart to dry. And truly this stuff is the best. It will dry quickly and it will stick well. So there we go, that side. the color of this. So I'm happy that I found a way to fit that in. Now we've got this one. And one more. I had thought about putting some extra things on some of these, but I don't know that it really needs it. I think the little pops of green around and then the yellow, I think that's enough. I don't, I don't want to overdo it. Less is more sometimes. Less is more. All right. So that's not quite quite dry yet but that one will go up here when it's dry so that's what it will look like when all is said and done and I think I'm pretty pleased with that spread and again these were taken at the Glasgow Botanical Garden so if you're ever in Scotland and you're visiting Glasgow I highly recommend that you make a stop here you will not be disappointed thanks for watching everybody